this property is owned by my father. He's the uh, local veterinarian. He's been a uh, veterinarian for Trujillo Alta for over 30 years. This is an area that is not particularly touristy. I mean, caskets, jail, <laughs> firearms, <laughs> and then you got petroleum, and then you've got ice cream. <laughs> but I think it has so much potential. You know, people come to Puerto Rico and Puerto Ricans themselves really enjoy the whole off the beaten path experience. So, so why not? You know, I, I, I really felt good about starting here rather than in the highly touristy areas. And just giving places like these a chance to, to prove that as long as something tastes good, they're not gonna question it. Like, we, we don't only have just vegans or plant-based uh, lifestyle eaters come here. We, people from all over the island come to visit us because, because it's just, it's a great experience. It's a, it's a great product, it's high quality. Uh, we make it by hand from scratch. We don't use pre-made pre or uh, mixes, you know. It's all built from the ground up and it shows. We're working on expanding this area as a sit-down area with music, shade, uh, seating, so that it can really become a place where you, um, you know, a little, a bit of a reprieve from your day, your week. Ice cream is very nights and weekends. You know, you walk up, you order, you go, you maybe walk around, uh, but we really want to, to, let that experience evolve. Uh, so this this corner here, we want to set up like a casual sort of hangout waiting area. And our our vision is two swings. And then when you come over here, uh, we're gonna redo this wall and we're gonna turn it into a mural where you can like Instagram, photograph. <laughs> I first had this idea and I didn't know that I had this idea when I realized I was lactose intolerant. Uh, I had just uh, graduated from my master's in architecture in Virginia and my boyfriend and now husband at the time, our weekends were buy a pint of Ben and Jerry's from the local bodega and rent a CD to watch a movie and we would just crush that pint between the two of us. It was. Also exciting because Ben & Jerry's wasn't, at that time, wasn't that mainstream. It wasn't like uh, widely available, especially in Puerto Rico. I, and I realized it just started to, to like really, I just didn't feel well. And then I went to a doctor and he's like, yeah, you, you're probably lactose intolerant. It was just like, well, wait, that's my favorite dessert. <laughs> like ice cream is like, you know, we, we associate it when we got a good grade and we were taken out for a, a cone or, family outings, it's just the best way to end a day. It's just like so rewarding. I just started to look into alternatives and that's how I kind of fell into the vegan food space because it, it was safe, it was secure, and at that time, uh, it was mainly soy-based. That was, that was what's trending at that time, but it's evolved so much and I've seen it evolve and grow and it's just become more, more exciting, more decadent, there's more experimentation, technology's involved, so um, I, really, I really enjoy vegan desserts and I had that uh, intolerance and I just wanted to make them at home and just got more comfortable doing them and, and got really good at it. Figuring out how to best you know, organize all this. We've got product, we've got ingredients that we get, we've got my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we grew like, up, like that was the fun thing to do, uh, the family outing with watching, Auburn. Yep, watching our grandma make cakes make from cakes. scratch. Yeah. Um, pastries, uh, lemon meringue. Ice cream. It was all around the kitchen, everything yes. was around the kitchen. Yeah, around the kitchen, around food. Um, and ice cream was, is a big part of our life. Like, uh, we would go to that Tasty in Freeze Auburn. in Auburn. Yep, Auburn. We couldn't afford Dairy, Free, um, Dairy Queen blizzards, so our parents would buy vanilla ice cream yep. and Oreos, and, and we, we just, just crush them crush and them make home. them in the <laughs> make house. Make the blizzard at home. Yeah, make the blizzard at home. <laughs> we have, like, an official freezer coming today. So today's gonna be one of those, like, chaotic days. <laughs> you know, in 
And it wasn't until probably from that first realization in New York, that was around 2004. Uh, it wasn't until 2012 that I actually officially launched my startup in Hong Kong called Wild Milk, which was uh, plant-based uh, gluten-free ice cream. In Hong Kong, it was kind of the same problem. Like you, you could get Ben and Jerry's imports, but there wasn't a lot of alternatives for, for this, my favorite and ultimate dessert in my mind, right? So I bought a little like home ice cream machine, countertop ice cream machine, started making them. And I found myself in this city where I was no longer practicing architecture. Um, it has a very entrepreneurial vibe. And I realized that after having my third child, like it was like do now or never, kind of a now or never feeling. Um, I've been doing like small other like other small entrepreneurial pursuits uh, in graphic design and teaching. I was even like making birthday party cakes. This was when I was like, okay, this is this is the moment that I should uh, just go for it. Like, why not? You know, I'm here. I've got all these resources. I had a great community uh, of peers that were also women that were professionals that were pers pursuing other things that they weren't. Um, necessarily like ha hadn't been doing before so um, I had the support and the opportunity and and that's how it came about and it was a success you know it's just I realized through those two years where I was leading uh, wild milk you know there was proof of product there was proof of product the recipes were good it was getting good feedback and uh, when I came to Puerto Rico that that was the uh, that was the goal. That was the, the objective was to relaunch it. I changed the name because I wanted something more um, bilingual. It was, it's easy to say in both languages. It's not hard to figure out. And it means more than just uh, a salutation. It means uh, a lot of taste. It's, it has this, uh, this warmth and friendliness about, about Puerto Ricans and what ice cream is. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a joyful kind of uh, aura to it, you know? I wanted it to be intentional that was inspired by uh, being in Puerto Rico, coming back, and uh, the rebranding was meant to pick up on elements that perhaps maybe on a personal level I miss by being far away and being an expat. Uh, one of those was actually the sunsets here. <laughs> so our colors are very, are pastel, but they're very tropical in inspiration. And I think I just abstracted what it looks like when you're, when you're just admiring one of those, these tropical sunsets here where you've got pinks and oranges and blues and maybe the shadow of the, uh, the, the cloud is like a gradient and it's like from, from a light white to to purple i mean i love that that dynamic and i thought i want to abstract that so um these shapes are like these amorphous shapes are inspired by clouds uh also like ice cream spilling when it like puddles i mean it's just uh it was, it was it's a mix of those two things you know mucho gusto like nice to meet you it's friendly it's warm it's charming but it also means a lot of flavor. So I, I like the play on, on, on the name as well. Like it refers to something that's abstract and of our culture, but at the same time, it refers to your experience with, with, with our product. I think my uh, graphic design background and uh, architecture background obviously uh, came into play. So I'm very comfortable painting and uh, creating things like this gradient, uh, I find it very soothing and, and wanted to really uh, factor in all this experience that I've had into, into the business. Uh, I think it, in the end it all meant something, you know, like all, all these things that I felt like I might have left behind, like, oh, I'm not practicing anymore, I'm not an architect anymore, but uh, the foundation of that uh, really came into play and has made a significant, uh, a significant impact in 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 our business because 
if you look around, if you do a 180, I mean, it it really really pops. Mm -hmm. Our uh, our facade really pops, and and so that was that was also one of the goals. Like, is it you know, is it Instagrammable? Uh, do people feel good coming here and making their way over here, and and just adding to the experience as well.